Run the Jewels 4. Got a lot to say about this one. Let's get into it. Run the Jewels for Killer Mike, Jamie's back at it again. Fourth installment of the Run Your Jewels. Uh, like, share, subscribe to the page if you like the content. You know what it is, Torture Talk. Uh, so let's get into it. So, Run the Jewels for Confused with this album. It, it's almost like it's annoying confused and annoying to the point where it's like the instrumentation to me is just all over the place some of the beats doesn't make sense to me it kind of makes me feel like it kind of makes me feel like uh, the Childish Gambino album all over again. It's like they threw a bunch of instruments at the beat maker or whoever made it and said, do something with this. Let's see what you can do with this. And it's just not, it's not, uh, it's just not, it's not good. It's, 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 it's just a bunch of noise to the point it's like I just don't even know how to even rate this album because I like the raps but the noise it's like noise in my ear some of the beats are okay but it's annoying to know that this group is actually really good at what they do but I don't know where they went with this. Maybe it's not for me. Maybe they went somewhere where it's for their fan base or the, the lyrical fan base that they are trying to capture or even the revolutionary fan base they're trying to capture. I don't know. I just know of what I hear. It sounds nothing like the first three albums. This one is like, what is going on? It's a lot going on. A lot of nothing going on. The raps, of course the raps are good. They're good lyricists. Of course the flows are good. But that's not all. That's not all. The song with Pharrell, that was okay. I like that. All your slave masters posing on a dollar bill. I like that. But I get lost. In translation when all the garbage is thrown at my ears you you guys gotta understand if something sounds good to you doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna sound good to the masses I get that you want to bring people in but sometimes you gotta give a little to take a little you can't just throw all this garbage at people and expect them to cipher through it it doesn't work like that at least not for me so uh this album i'm gonna sit with it for a little bit i'm gonna listen to it a couple more times i listened to it three times i'm gonna listen to it a couple more times because i like i like this group and i don't want to say oh, i'm never gonna listen to it again because i like it maybe it'll grow on me i don't know but right now strong seven strong seven because i think that they could have had better instrumentation on this album better instrumentals i'm sorry they could have it, it, it i can't give them a great rating because they tried something different when child just did the same thing and his his beats were terrible too i can't strong seven lyrics don't always just carry an album i want y'all to understand that great lyricists you gotta have the total package to make a good album 
If you're not a great lyricist, you gotta come up with something to make a great album. If you're a great lyricist, you gotta come up with something to make a great album. You can't have extremely good raps and extremely bad beats. And then expect somebody to say, oh, no, the beats is okay, but the raps are crazy. That makes it a classic. No. Sorry. Strong 7. Torture Talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. You know what time it is, man.